Look, it's Lindblom Castle. I don't think we can turn back once we jump up. What do you want to do? Let's go. Zidane! I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Dagger. Zidane! Look! Oh shit. Is that the red rose? Destroying the airships and the windows. Those slides must be telepods. They're sending black mages directly inside the castle. In Clara, they use summon magic afterwards. No. Mother! Basically, a way this is a world where only one one nation has just a cover. Basically, invented weapons of mass destruction, and uh, everyone else is just totally unable to counter that. It's so quiet, mother. I can't believe you attacked Lindblom. Careful, they might still be around. Maybe you stay here and hide. No way, it's dangerous here. There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere, you should stay out of their sight. Okay. I don't fret, we'll be ba right back. Okay, I don't. Uh, this is never a good plan. Party splitting. Especially if the effective uh, fighting of your group requires you to have uh, pretty much at least three members. I'm sorry, Phoebe. It's okay, just make it quick. I suppose they're going to would have attacked probably at 
be treated really hostily. But still, we can't just always leave him behind. And now he's alone, so if someone finds him, he's in deep shit. Are you going to resist us? I don't want to start a fight here. That's good. Leave everything to Green Brown. Armed with the Black Mages, uh, may plague. <laughs> Armed with the Black Mage army and the Eidolons, Green Brown is invincible. Resistance will only bring death. Probably not. The problem with that is. How much of a control does she really have? I have to. The black mages aren't originally hers, and I don't think she does. She discovered the Eidolons thanks to Kudia's help, so. She's pretty much entirely reliant on him. Ah, it's a letter from the flying Mughal Sereno. Thanks for delivering the letter, Kupo. I rode an airship called the Red Rose. I saw something horrible, Kupo. Eidolon Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. There's not even a trace of the city now. Khan's Red Rose destroyed Clara? Khan is scary, Kupo. Might as well save. At least we don't have to do the talk to the old man part again, no matter what happens. That reminds me how expensive is summoning. How do you know? Must be a way to look. Or not. Sure, what we're supposed to do here. Finish it off! Should I crush its head? Or how about its chest? Stop it, he's a living creature. What did you say? Ron programmed them to kill, but they're, ju they're still just like everybody else. Lies. They may look human, but that's where their similarity ends. Well, they don't even look human, so I don't. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from. They destroyed everything, like wrecking balls, destroying buildings. They don't even know we're made of flesh and blood. I don't know why I started to argue with him. Get anything out of them? New. No. An airship fell out of the sky and almost hit me. Thank goodness it was only a small cargo ship. Hmm. Is someone there? Black May just blinded me. A terrible loss. I won't ever see my newborn grandchild's face again. War is so primitive. 
Why couldn't they play a card game settle their differences? Well, it's going to be, if it's going to be a card game, it's, uh, why wouldn't, it's going to be cheating at that point. Because why wouldn't you cheat if that's, uh, if you can. And then we're pretty much back at the same point. Using all your advantages to, to secure the position you want. Gaming the rules, whatever. Developing cards that you can change the face up at the at the moment you desire. All type of ways to uh, make sure that you're the one winning. Bribery, cheating, whatever. It's it's not going to be when you're talking about something trivial at that point, that only trivial things, minor, things of minor importance can be sort of lim limited to that. You have a specific set of rules and no matter what, everyone participating abides by those rules. Even a simple sporting event is important enough that people try to cheat as much as they can. Doping or trying to bend their rules or whatever, so it's sort of um, it's more of the I think of an example of the thinking that that's very common. Basically, an easy way of thinking if you're not expending any brain power to actually think about the issue. It's that if the issue didn't didn't exist we wouldn't have this problem, more or less, side of thinking. If, if, basically, if people just didn't do what they do, or be uh, like they are, uh, things would be different. It's, it's the, well, no shit. The problem is, how do, you, how do you get from the current place we are to that place? Or if that's even possible, that's, that's the entire problem. Officer. Industrial district is gone and the business and theater districts are also in ruins. Mr. Artania. Allocate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania. Princess Garnet. Master Zidane. Glad to see you're both safe. Where's Uncle Sid? Is the regent say? Yes, princess. The castle was spared. Regent Sid is alive. Thank goodness. I will take you to see him. Might as well go. We visited the town before. Princess Garnet is back. Uncle Sid. Darn it, I thought Ron had imprisoned you. Zidane rescued me. Thank you, Zidane. But Freya, Siner, and Beatrix were left behind. I... Ah, uh, the renowned General Beatrix. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't think so either, Dagger. We wound up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Trino, but... They'll be fine on their own. Pinnacle? Did you write the Gargan? How did you know? It's my job to know the land surrounding my country. However, I sometimes lack foresight. Ron was after the Eidolons, that much I knew. But I underestimated the power of the Eidolons. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. Glad you under I'm glad you surrendered. Playrop resisted and perished. What should I say? Can I what can I do? Hey, we got a live one here. Watch out, it might attack. Hey, this one's much smaller than the others. How let me go, I'm not one of them. Why are you dressed like a black mage? That must be...
we took an Alexandrian soldier into custody. I just said... I should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uncle Sid... Let him go. Master Bibi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to deceive the enemy. I see. My apologies. I have acquired more information about Queen Ron. A weapons dealer named Kuja is behind a recent string of attacks. I don't think he's a simple weapons dealer. Kuja has been supplying Bron with highly advanced magic weapons. Supplying my mother with weapons? Yes. Black mage soldiers are among these weapons. Accompanying to eyewitnesses, according to eyewitnesses in Trino, Kuja appeared from the northern sky on a silver dragon. That's the guy I saw in Burmesia. That he came from the northern north, it is. That he is from the outer continent. The outer continent? Well, there are many unexplored continents in the world. Outer Continent is an unexplored continent located to the north of our Mist Continent. I believe Kuja is uh, the only one supplying Bran with weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kuja. He must be the one who is corrupting my mother. If we defeat Kuja, if we eliminate Kuja, you both catch on quickly. I defeat Kuja and Braun loses her weapon supply. That will be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Braun now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the evil. Yes, Kuja will find other clients even if we defeat Braun. I make no excuses for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can't spare any soldiers. They must remain to protect our citizens. Hey Dagger, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. The best dragon knight in Burmesia, the female general of Alexandria and Rusty. How could they lose? Besides, you have me to protect you. And I'll look for Kutia. I wanna go too. There's no place for me here. Alright, let's go kick Kudia's butt. Will you lend us the fastest airship in Lindblom? Airships can only fly where there is mist. And the mist only exists on this continent. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship that can fly without mist. It's not ready yet. Besides, it's under Bronze control. Bronze gave us two conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was to hand over the Falcon Claw. The airship I can understand, but what does she want with a piece of stone? I have no idea. Right, we'll take a boat. The cause is to summon Adelon, you dumb piece of shit. That's not an option either. The harbor was also seized. Ah, uh, what do you want us to do? Swim? Uh, there is a way. There is an old excavation site near a swamp located north from the castle. Monsters not native to our continent are rumored to appear in the excavation site. The cave which was found during excavation is rumored to lead to another continent. Will this cave lead us to the outer continent? Doesn't sound too reliable. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Not knowing is half the fun, huh? 
Please, pro please protect Princess Garnet. We will prepare the counterattack in the meantime. It's not much, but use it to prepare for your journey. 3,000 deal. Yeah, it's not much. Ah, wait here, Zidane. Will you get my stuff too? Yep, that's probably a good idea. Listen, then Bloom is Alexandrian territory now. You won't be able to come back for a while. Prepare yourself well. Let me know when you're ready. Mm, what, what are bronze plans? Uh, no missed airship and more a idolons is not really required to secure control of this content anymore. Sardas Rod, Ice Brand, Missile Armor, providing exclusive discount prices for our Alexandrian patrons. Those are incredibly expensive. What a ripoff. I was thinking about buying a new sword. But everything is so expensive here. I wonder if he'd give me a discount. I raised the price because I don't want to sell them anything. But I'll give you a major discount. Mithril armor. Um, I think we actually have one of these, but this group doesn't. It's uh, basically equipped on a person that is no longer in the group. But I'll buy one more, just to be sure. Mithril Helms. Again, I think we have those. Hardest Rod. What does it do? Rod adorned with beautiful stars. Elemental defense shadow damage reduced by 50%. Artisan, we have it. And it's uh, unique to one character, so I don't know if there's any point in buying extra. Still. Mage Smasher. Flame Ice Light. We have three of each. We don't really, strictly speaking, need extras at this point, but I'd really like to have at least three of everything. The problem now is more about. Uh, we don't know what we actually have. And actually would like one of the more of the cheaper crap. Ice flame and lightning staff might be eye items of interest too, because they're very basic mage staff. But uh, I think three is more than enough. Four is probably the maximum I'll have of anything, unless I have a specific reason to hoard. I think we need to find the synth shop first. Sorry, my shop got destroyed and I don't have much to sell. Your trouble. The flame looks so cold, it's as though it's weeping. A black mage was attacking my dad by the time I got here. 
escape with his life, but he burns his hands in the fire. He said he won't be able to do any more synthesis work. So I asked my dad to train me. I'm gonna become a great synthesis worker like him. I'll work hard. Okay, but can you sell me your crap? Ooh, the Exploder. Mage Smasher Mithril Dagger. Silk Robe. Barret. Power Belt. Glass Buckle. Can we make a glass buckle? Yep. Pretty much any piece of equipment is gonna be useful. And because uh, you can uh, do a direct upgrade and then accessory upgrade, so you could have quite a lot of these special or basic equipment. Shoes, ice elemental attack, strength, elemental defense, wind, raises shadow elemental attack, absorbs thunder elemental attack. Coral rings could be definitely useful. I, I, I would like to have more than one without a doubt. See what we can do with these. The Exploder. Sacrifice. Lucky seven. Attack counter. Huh. Hardest rod ability up, flex, loot. Only six points for ability up to have it in some other products. We need to learn remove. Causes thunder damage to all enemies, twenty two points. Yes. We have twelve thousand. I'm sort of thinking of going buy more of those basic items. Because almost everything yeah, requires a higher level item, but there's also something very basic uh, all combined with that. Going with the uh, core of everything approach. Naturally, we can't redo really it now, but it's gonna have to. We're about as ready as we're gonna get, so... wonder if I can uh, go to other districts and look around properly. Third Jewel.
we started loading the supplies. It took long enough, didn't it? Yes, the Lindblom soldiers won't obey our orders. We must finish up before Queen Brown becomes upset. Send all available personnel to the harbor and assist in supplying the fleet. Staying here is pointless now that we have the Falcon Corps. Do you know a rebel group called Vigilantes? No. If you do, you must report it to me right away. Yeah, sure. It's a shame that we don't have enough power to fight Bran. Hera resisted and her Eidolon destroyed it. I heard that you can't even enter, Clara. The Regent told us to live today and fight tomorrow. We're going to hit him and wait for the day when we rise against Bran. Makes a sen makes sense. Uh, it makes sense in another way too. Uh, you, uh, I suppose you could say it like uh, in modern warfare, not the game, but in modern warfare, is that once your army is sort of destroyed, you don't have any more equipment to. You don't have tanks, planes, or anything artillery to send against to properly threaten the enemy, you might as well surrender. Your, your other option, I suppose, would be to try to still resist in a very slow burn way. Like, the problem is that, yeah, it can turn into a situation like Palestine. Is that you basically live, have people living in a total shithole rubble, and they, they realistically have no way of Breaking the breaking the situation on their own power because the uh, occupying force is going to stop on them every time they start to gather strength because they 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 haven't given up fighting officially. So in, in that sense, even if you do intend to resist, it makes a lot of sense to just say that. Currently, we don't really have the strength to properly resist, so let's surrender, let's have the peace, and gather up our strength. It's best, it's better for the general citizenry anyway to stop the overall fighting. And well, a couple of things can happen either they try to keep you occupied, but you can still gain strength, so your ability to actually fight back improves. Or they can basically end it, so you get you get your self control back without actually st stretching it out in a bloody conflict for no particular reason. I guess the biggest obstacle would be that. Those who wish to ride an air cab must pay 200 kill per trip. Is that it's it's very hard to swallow for your pride. Is that not fighting somewhere sometimes the, the best way to do things. Because you're always taught to never give up, never surrender. Better to live free than I uh, die free than leave us a slave, that sort of, that is crap, but it just, it's not the sensible thing to do. I'm worried about the Jill because we don't have that much money, we can't travel too much, but my plan is more or less to just Visit the, this district, see what we can pick up, and then move on. Kill, kill, kill! The voices are stuck in my head. Like mages killed my friends. This guy has new loot here for us.
what what she's gonna do with my painting? Hmm, this is a nice painting. Such a sad picture, but it possesses strength. Yeah, you think so? Look to the sky, such a sad color. In Bloom's blue sky died with our freedom. Let's say your freedom is on the pole. This is where I witnessed the industrial district disappear. I bet everyone's dead. Eidolon swallowed everything. There was no need to take things this far. I pledged my loyalty to Queen Bran in order to protect Alexandria, not to kill people. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think it's that's just a badly worded thing. More or less, uh, you joined the army to defend your nation, not to go around invading others. I thought you were one of them people with pointy hats. Is Uncle Baku coming home soon? It wouldn't be so scary if he was around. Doesn't seem like there's anything particularly interesting here. Even a big star like me can't make a living without a theater. Hey pal, do you know any other theaters I can work at? I can't believe it. I'm standing next to Mr. Lau. I'm so happy. Ooh. Wow, that was dangerous. So, yeah, nothing here. A few minor things, and that's it. But it's uh, good to check things out. What exactly? A total the entire place. Yeah, I'm still not clear what bronze master plan is. This can't be it. this all everything feels like it's just a step on the road to something else. It's also hard to see why she's doing this in general. Yeah, she was l lost her husband already, but based on Dagger, she wasn't some kind of insane lunatic going around murdering people before, so there has to be something. Something, something else. I'm not saying she's a good person or anything, but there has to be some kind of a greater justification why she's doing this. Alternatively, Kuja has an insane amount of influence he can exert over other people in a very small time frame and even then I, I don't get what, why he would have picked Bran there has to be some kind of an angle he can play to get her to start all this. He didn't just pop up, hey I have these weapons, wanna go kill people? There has to be a plan, there has to be reasons. Even if they're terrible, terrible reasons that don't make sense, there's still gonna be reasons.
We're ready. Follow me. The regent is waiting on the base level. Brownie's fleet arrives. Why are they loading food instead of valuables into the ship? I wonder if they're gonna take them all back to Alexandria. Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop the chatter and keep loading the ship. Damn them. They think they can walk all over us. Well, they just did. Get us all more. Let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? Yeah, I'm with this soldier. I don't know. But you know how greedy Bran is. I, I don't know. I'll take his word for it. I wonder where we are going next. I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Bran has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need, our, we need your help. Some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the guest room. I wonder what Bran is going to do. Zidane, do we really have to go to the outer continent? Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go. What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. Are you worried about me? What? Well, I mean, uh... Princess needs her elite guard, you know. I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? <laughs> Sorry, I was only kidding. He'll be fine with me. What about you, Dagger? We don't know anything about the Outer Continent. I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then. I'll protect both you and DD. Thank you. Titane, I'm so glad you're here. Maybe where's Uncle Sid? Um he said walk walk, wait here and went away somewhere. Now where could he be? I did it. I stopped a trolley between here and the Serpent's Gate. That showed them not to fool around in my castle. Now go. The excavation site is like a maze. Well, thank you very much for sending us to a horrible, horrible, horrible place. Be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's a rag. You big dope. It's not a rag. It's a natural treasure of Lindblom. That is an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, thanks. World map. Now go before they find you. Sidane, Vivi, please protect Princess Carnage. Okay. Go see it. Don't worry about me, I'm stronger than I look. Now go. They'll squeeze all the agap oil out of my body, we're a cod. Let's go, Dagger. My mind. 
They have an enclub for a region and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Hmm? You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The machine over there stopped and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yes, it made this strange quack quack sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Any word from the lookout? No, ma'am, nothing. This must be Re Regent Seeds doing. He's hiding something. Come with us, you two. Find the Regent. Yes, ma'am. Oh, can I buy crap from you again? Directly north of here, you will see a pond shape. You might encounter some strange monsters. So it's basically the swamp, but we need to continue further in. What's that? Adam and West. Adam West. Sort of. And we're broke. And good timing too. Stone killer. Wait, wait, wait. So why don't you have a silk rope? Ability up love. Hopefully you're probably developing those already. Actually no. Or not. Situation in general is looking quite good. We have a lot of uh, abilities to develop. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the swamp, but at the same time, I suppose we should. Uh, I was mainly thinking about maybe trying another chocobo option. We have the capabilities to walk on water with the Chocobo, so we might be, now that we're back again in the Lindblom area, we might be able to go to a place we weren't able to go to before. So I at least want to give that a try, by the way. Yes, everyone wants mail. I do not want to spend a huge amount of time though with the chocobo thing, so I, I seem to recall there's a uh, chocobo track very close to the entrance here, so we'll just call the chocobos, take a look around and if we don't find anything we'll go to the excavation site as soon as possible.